How's it going folks, it's Lobo and welcome back to the channel and welcome to my first episode reaction of the Amazon The Boys. To those of you unfamiliar with my channel, I actually quite recently started a Daredevil reaction series and you can find the link to that playlist in the description along with my movie reaction playlist where I'm going to be reacting weekly starting at some point soon, I promise. <laughs> but for now we're on the nature of the boys and these episodes also drop weekly, that will be every Wednesday. I know I initially said Tuesday to those of you who actively watch my channel, I apologize for that. But it just works better for me to upload on Wednesday so I apologize for the one day shift. But here we are nonetheless with the first episode and I'm very intrigued by this series at large. I've heard so many different things about it where it's talking about the most comparable thing is sort of like the injustice storyline when it comes to DC. I'm like, huh, that's, that's interesting and a bit weird to think about because of everything I've heard from all sources and people who've watched this just really trying to summarize from what I've heard. I haven't heard specific plot points, but the general feel of the show, I the best way I'm going to describe it to how I understand before watching, it's as if that which would deem a criminal a criminal, maybe some of the heroes partake in that behavior or those activities. So very interesting from that standpoint. I'm like, how is that going to work with a show? At, from a, a, I'm guessing that they're all super powered. They're not just like wearing costumes. So I think they're super powered beings, but I don't know if the, I also don't know if this is like another comic run because we have Marvel and DC, the, the biggest and the boldest of the comic world. And to those who are unaware, those are not the only comic sort of companies. Those are obviously the most dominant ones, but so I'm wondering if the boys come from any other sort of a minor comics and then they just like an adaptation to live action it worked out splendidly because this is on Amazon Prime. So pretty good funding. It's on a streaming platforms. So from that standpoint, they must have either a decent story or it's just a very well received show. And I, I think both are true potentially because I know a lot of people like this series, but still off that standpoint, it's very cool just even before watching or having any sort of real idea on what this is about, just thinking about the possibilities because we've seen so many hero movies and shows and, and it doesn't even have to be super powered beings. It could just be a cop show, a firefighter show, a doctor show, like all these different shows of real people doing heroic things and what we as society would deem being heroic, but it's just cool that if you have this idea, this proposal that let's get a bunch of superpowered beings and make them sort of gray, really step into that area. We've seen the complexity in a number of characters who are more dense and layered when it comes to how they approach justice and things. We have those characters, but to really dive in it and get into the grind, that's again, the general sense I've gotten from everything I've heard about this show. I'm really wondering how they can all sort of blend it to work where you have these really hardcore vigilante group apparently and try to mix that with like the government perhaps even people's criticism you can get people like J. Jonah Jameson where they're like they're no bunch of they're menaces to society it's something along the lines of that I think that would be cool and interesting storyline to really sort of look at heroes in a new light and perhaps even dive into a bit of psychology, like the humanity of people that we make mistakes and we are not these perfect figures. Even if you grant us powers, our human tendencies and our inner natures will take hold. So the exploration of that seems very cool. And another thing I heard is these episodes are rather long, like over an hour at some point. So I'm like, damn, that's a, that's a, that's a long episode. Uh, I hope I enjoy it because I don't want to sit here for an hour if I don't like it. I, I imagine I will enjoy it. I've heard a lot of great things about this, but they say you really have to sort of open your mind to it. It's not the one cut formula or storyline that everyone's used to and certainly not myself. Going in again, I think it's something like a team. I wouldn't say Avengers or Justice League, but I am aware that it's more than one hero. So... I, I'm guessing they form a group. I don't know why. I don't know if their name, perhaps their name is The Boys. That's uh, that's interesting. I don't know if that's their name in the show. That's how they identify as a team. Or if it's just the show's caption f for their group or just the, the show at large. I, I could see that from the standpoint, if they're not doing heroic things, then it's the play on a boy being like sort of childish and immature. So maybe, I don't know. But... 
That's an interesting group name. Uh, the boys. Oh, we'll see. I've heard weirder gang names. <laughs> But anyway, uh, I'm very intrigued to get started. I, I wanna, there is a level of excitement, but it's just different because this is not connected to anything. No MCU, no DCEU, no just DC property. This is something entirely new to myself, not just from the character standpoint, but again, on the nature of what this show is about, really sort of reanalyzing and looking at heroes in a new light. So yeah, very, very interested, and yeah, let's just get started. All right, so I'm loading it up right now, but before I begin, I just remembered something I briefly wanted to talk about, and what I'm wondering right now is about the level of maturity and realism when it comes to this show, and that's not necessarily have to do with the writing, but more so, is it going to be visually mature in the aspects of gore and blood, and maybe some drug use, I don't know, like heavy amounts of violence, profanity. This is a streaming show after all. We've seen examples on Disney Plus of MCU shows still retaining sort of family-friendly vibe, but that's Disney as a company at large, and this is Amazon. So I would imagine that this show might potentially really go into that darker area and very real when it comes to, yeah, you, you hit someone there that hard, they're going to bleed, they're going to just get into things like that. So I'm just wondering, from a visual standpoint, are they really going to show some not gross stuff, but like a realistic, here's what happens if an individual of immense power hits a normal person. So yeah, we'll, we'll find out. Also, one final thing. I am aware of one of the cast members. It's, what was his name? He was in Thor Ragnarok. He played the ball dude that hell is executioner. I think his name was Scourge. But this guy, I feel like I've seen him in so many different supporting roles throughout random things. I feel like his face is everywhere. Everywhere I go, I see his face, but it's just funny. I know he's in the show at some point, but it's just weird that he's literally everywhere. <laughs> Adult content, graphic language, graphic violence, nudity, strong sexual content. Holy shit, 18 plus. Yeah, I, I was asking if this is going to be visually like bang, and uh, it is. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh shit. Damn, she looks just like Wonder Woman. What the hell? Heavy Wonder Woman vibes. Oh god, bro. This is this is graphic. Laser vision is So there's like a Superman type character? Is okay. <laughs> what the fuck am I watching, bro? <laughs> Homelander. Okay. Really need to talk to you about Later, something, kid. Real. Okay. Cool. Later. You like in like 30, 30 minutes? Despite your best efforts, I'm actually still hungry. Actually, more hungry now. <laughs> For the raise? Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was a. Look, it was a crazy day, and, and he was super busy. I don't think that's... I don't think that's true. Dude, I had to ask you out. Well, excuse me for waiting. You ever hear of chivalry? You know, if we move in together. Wait, what? What? Wait, 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 hey, 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 what was that? What'd you just say? The smirch bill. The hell? What? what the hell is happening right now? Did she just turn into a mass of blood? I can't stop. 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 Bro! Bro! <laughs> a version of Flash just killed his girlfriend? Bro, what the fuck is this shit? I'm sorry, man. I have never seen anything like this, man. Holy shit. I was so confused. Dude, close your eyes or else I'll blind you. I am so sorry. Oh, that's why she's called Starlight. Smell the hairspray. Uh, I mean, why would you get into this 
business, if not to save the world. Always wanted to be in the Seven. I don't know what to take serious, because because we've seen what happens when there's serious moments. That shit can be like. He just stepped in the middle of the street. I, mean, I, I couldn't. Middle of the. She was a half step off the fucking curb. Oh, now, come on. His name's the A Train. And I'll offer you the check. This is a confidentiality agreement. It's a boilerplate NDA. <laughs> you people say our condolences and my sympathies. I'm not signing anything. Get out. Good for him. Get the hell out! Oh. Never mind. I was like, damn, a man of integrity. <laughs> if you have any questions at all, just... Uh... Accurate, though. I give you some money and you keep quiet. Oh, Annie. I'm hungry. I got it. You got it! <laughs> she got into what was it called the seven i don't know what that is oh maybe it's the boys group with seven of them i don't know you want to make this right what happened to robin but you can't dad they killed her be realistic okay even if we could pay for a lawyer and that's a big if there's no case she was in the street be like if a bus hit dad, her. why not dad i have you don't have the fight you never have I'm sorry, but it's it's true. Neither do I. Uh, it's a tough situation. I don't necessarily think his dad is wrong, though. That's a tough case to prove. It's an extraordinary one to prove. <laughs> Who else would they be here for? Come on, we're running late. So they literally audition as if having a talent to join the group? who put themselves in harm's way each and every day for us. Do they, though? Let's take a look. From what I've seen so far, it does not seem like that. Where there is a Vought hero in every town. You're doing... Vought. That speech, by the way, your audition, it was modest, it was humble, really fucking smart choice. Uh, including the jewel in Vought's crown. We are Vought. We make heroes super. Okay. It's like legit parodies of famous characters. I saw a version of Aquaman there. And Lord of the Seven Seas, live and in person, the D What did I just say? Okay, that costume sucks, man. He's got like fins on his arm. My good friend, the Lamplighter, has retired. Green Lantern. The Lamplighter. <laughs> so they're not called the boys, they're called the Seven and they work for Vought. Okay. It's about the size of mainstream Justice League. Or Avengers. Well, pretty much both. Damn. Everywhere he goes. Two Worldview Four satellites in geocentric orbit. I was working with a police scanner that I bought on eBay. Yeah, well, not anymore, you're not. Well, of course, they have their own base. Tavern. Look at that nice shit. Man. Fucking fantastic. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I kind of. I kind of had a schoolgirl crush on you. It's just. It's kind of wild. Oh, God. What? <laughs> it's just a question of how bad you want to be in the seven. Excuse me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. I say so, you know, you'd be out of here. Especially since you attacked me. I what? I mean, that, that could put you out of business for like, Three minutes, maybe. It's not a big deal. Uh, I'm sure you guys have all heard. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon. Man, that guy's such a... I'll keep it PG with my language, but man, dude. It actually makes me so angry hearing him talk. The 
bends the light like an invisibility cloak. All right, but just to be clear. I know you're not supposed to want to punch people in the face, but uh, that guy would make it tough, man. I'm trying to get ketchup out of a bowl. There he is. <laughs> I said, who the hell are you? How do you know that? Name's Butcher. Billy Butcher. Ain't it obvious? Movie tickets, merchandising, theme parks, video games, a multi-billion dollar global industry. But the main reason that you won't hear about it is because the public don't want to know about it. Thank you for being an upstanding citizen. You know, this is fucking police brutality, man. You know what they'll do to me? They catch me letting you in? You just say you were... Police? Yeah, you know, cop fed, all the same to like that. I don't know. Something's funky with this guy. Holy shit. What the hell? Draw up off the floor and try to blend it in. <laughs> Where the hell are they, man? Without the peps taking snaps. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is this? They pulled like an Ant Man with Thanos, but uh. Just, just not the way anyone would have thought of it. I ran so fast through this bitch that I swallowed one of her molars. Like a bug on the fucking freeway. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Don't tell me she actually. For Christ's sakes, clean yourself up. Never let them see you like this. Man, dude, I knew this. Sh oh. They're all like that? All of them? Even Homelander? For the rest of them, yeah. Pardon my French, fuck those fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> the ship deal that. By myself, and, and you and you want me to plant a bug? Like I'm what, like I'm fucking James Bond? <laughs> exactly. You go ahead. <laughs> okay? I'm not an infiltrator. Yo, Huey, fucking grow up here. You heard that come laughing at your girl. No. Okay, no. No, I can't. Well, we're thinking about making a move. How much? Three hundred million a year. <laughs> Two hundred million for Nubian Prince. I can sell that. Mm. I'm sorry, Steve. I can't do it. We've got Atlanta waiting in the wings. I happen to know about Compound V. What is Compound V? Ooh, this guy's gonna die, man. Mom, I gotta tell you what happened. Oh, I forgot. I was playing Mahjong with Pat and Trish, and Pat... Um, Mom, actually, you know what? I have to go. All right, bye, honey. Oh my god, dude, that sucks so much. Oh shit, it's Huey. Huh. <laughs> That's a cool first meeting. Well, unfortunate circumstances, but... Sorry, I don't mean to bother you. No, no, it's okay. Uh, I'm fine, I'm just... I'm just having a bad day. I feel a fighter, and... Then I was faced with this horrible situation with this asshole. Mostly because... Turns out, I'm not who I thought I was. Oh. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm... Sorry, I, I didn't mean to just dump all of that. No, no, it's you. totally fine that you dumped. I mean, he needed to hear it. She would just charge headfirst into the middle of the rink. And she wasn't good like she fell a lot just because you fall on your ass doesn't mean you have to stay there so you fell on your ass you know that's not who you are i'm gonna take that son of a bitch's head clean off his body okay i don't know if she means that literally <laughs> okay I'm, I'm huey by the way annie so far, these are the only two, like, really good characters. It was a nice parallel between their struggles and 
having a conversation about it without revealing any like actual details. It was a cool scene. See? He needed that talk. Now he's tackling his own situation. And and 45k, it's just it's just it's bingo, life life changing. And his sympathies on on TV, but I, I if I could just get an apology. But uh, Hugh, I'm telling you, the answer is going to be no. All right, in that in that case, can you just give me hello? I think. <laughs> Man, people suck so much, bro. No heart. Oh, yes, they will. Well, if you say so. I feel so bad for her. I hope the deep dies horrifically. Oh my god, I sound awful now. <laughs> I'm becoming one of them! <laughs> His cape's the I American flag. Planned. Sorry, sir. I mean, all that pressure, it's a lot for anyone to swallow. Yeah, don't worry. I'll be fine. Anywhere. I can't believe that guy. Can we get back to... I can't believe that guy, man. Stop. What's Starlight gonna think? Listening to us haggling over nickels. Is who you saved this week. Huh? Curie, then up into the boardroom. Sit down, be nice, congenial. Then real polite line, tell him he gonna take a fat shit. Go into the bog. Then go back into the boardroom. Sit down, big smiles. Plant the bug underneath the table. That's that. That's that? Yeah. That was that was a lot. Yeah, it was. I already forgot. <laughs> I have a horrible attention span. Was it the red pill anyway? Take the other pill and quit being a cunt. Which pill do you want me to take? Just quit being a cunt, that's what I'm saying. Sir, could you empty your pockets, please? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, don't. Yo, this gives me anxiety, man. Thank you. Damn. And here we're sitting in uh, Starlight's chair, I think, too. Change your bathroom. Just to be clear, A Train's apology isn't an. Sorry about having a girlfriend, alright? <laughs> Is he imagining this scene again? Fine. Accidents happen, right? After all, I mean, you were saving the world. Okay, great. Here, we'll handle the rest of the paperwork for you, okay? Thank you. Sam, he did great there. But he didn't plant the bug! He, he forgot to go to the bathroom. Can you use your bathroom? Oh, well, you can do it now. Shit! Ah, oh, this is giving me so much anxiety! Man, it's crazy how they're always in the same scene. Oh my god, the invisible guy. What the fuck? I hear he actually did it though, but oh, there's a slight leak in the plan. Awesome, man. Just getting to stare that asshole down. I get why you dig this job. Yeah, you know. Has <laughs> Dude, he's on like a rush right now. What are we, uh, what are we doing here? Well, you gotta go to work, don't you? You know, I could, I could be like your tech guy, you know, like I could be in the van with the thing and like, you know. The guy in the chair. You ever see an asshole tear up 45k? Yeah, I mean, good for him though. You're a good lad. He's aware of who he is. I like that. I like his personality. Yeah, my word. Thank you. Have a safe flight home. Oh, he is so dead, man. Oh, shit, the invisible Sorry, guy. Up. Oh, he's gonna like punch him in the face or something. Jump scare. Oh, you think I wouldn't find this thing? Damn. Huey. 
Jesus. I don't know. He was just some Uber driver, don't okay? Don't give me some bullshit Uber driver. You think I'm a fucking idiot? We're the seventh. Earth's most mighty champion. Hit, hit him. Do something. Motherfucker. <laughs> you should fuck off, Huey. <laughs> that ain't the invisible cunt. Oh my god. <laughs> Tackle him! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, man! Come on, Huey. Get him from behind. Translucent doesn't even mean invisible. It means semi-transparent. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's true, he was on the Jimmy Fallon show. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Put him in the trunk! The trunk! Yeah. <laughs> Huey, you just off one of the seven, mate. Me? I... You... You... You hit him with a fucking car! Look, potato fucking potato, we're both... <laughs> Don't worry about it, kiddo. It's just a little turbulence. I told you, this guy gonna be someone on the the wing of it homelander are you guys friends oh god bro And they said he was the the saint of the group. Wow, bro. <laughs> oh my. Uh, I mean, just fresh off watching this, it went one episode in, and I already absolutely love this series because I had no idea what to expect. This is like the most surprising show I've ever watched because you just. You just can't. Even, I couldn't even comprehend what I was watching. I was left speechless because it was just so. The moments were just so like shocking and shit, and it was so realistic and it was so dark. It was like <laughs> we're gonna talk about this later because I need the I need to process what I just watched. That was that was like a that was a handful. There was so much going on, and it was so just like vulgarly realistic in that real aspect of the shit show and dark side of people like oh my god man yeah we're gonna i'm gonna have to talk about this later all right so still fresh off my reaction just still processing what i just watched it's <laughs> it's just still so surreal because going in expecting sort of the idea that heroes might be a bit flawed and multi-layered and they might accidentally you know have casualties and stuff and then maybe feel some regret but to see them just kind of go on in life in spite of that and actually make a joke out of it and sort of take pleasure and be sadistic and i'm like this is this is crazy man I, it's just it's so weird to actually coming from my standpoint of shows I've watched, huge DC fan, huge Marvel fan, pretty much the entirety of what I've watched in content of heroes and heroic and living up to the symbol and identity of what a hero is supposed to be. And then you have that pre-knowledge, you come in here sort of abandoning everything you know and throwing that out the window and watching this shit. It's just, 
it's it crazy and it messes with your head because you're like, what am I watching? I did have to write some things down to talk about because there was there was a lot there was a lot of characters. I I knew it would be like a group kind of like Avengers or Justice League. So what I wrote down is things that I kind of vaguely remember. It's uh, I think the company is Vought and they're the seven. They're not called the boys. I don't know where the name the boys comes from. Uh, I don't know if that's like a spoiler, but if one of you knows and it's not like a spoiler type of thing, could you let me know in the comments? But if it's not like a spoiler, like, oh, here's a, some hidden message or something. I, I just felt like it was a play on immaturity, that sort of childish, or maybe it's the boys because it has to do with innocence. I, again, the child having innocence and then this shit is just like, no nope, real life darkness and all that. So I don't know, maybe, but uh, I wrote down, I know, I had to look this up, the guy who is the fake FBI dude. I, I didn't catch his name in the episode, so he's the only character I looked up because he seems like very important and his name is Billy Butcher, so that's pretty easy to remember. I know Starlight, I think her real name is like Annie or Anne, something along that. I feel like it started with an A, but I'm not quite sure. I know Homelander, he's like Injustice Superman. And it's funny too, because they said he was the saint like he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke, doesn't do drugs. So I'm like, oh, but then I remembered in the beginning, he took the bad guy. Well, I say bad guy when really it's like, you have to redefine what you think of as a bad person, but he flew his ass and he died obviously hitting the car from that high up. But, and then he did the thing with the plane. I'm like, this is real some Injustice Superman type shit. He has the vibes of Superman. He has the laser vision. He's got an American flag cape. So it's patriotic, but it's very, distinguishing himself as this sort of the figurehead of the group. It's very much like Superman in that regard, but again, just really playing on that idea of not being so noble. And it's just, that's just, uh, that's so crazy to watch. So he's the figurehead, that's Homelander. A-Train is the guy who was like, as I said, like though their version of the Flash or Quicksilver, and he killed Huey's girlfriend. Robin, that was her name. I was just, I was so confused what was happening. I thought maybe she was super powered. I'm like, can she turn into a vat of blood or something? And then I saw the guy slow down. He's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Then I'm like, is this a joke? There's no way this shit just happened. But then it really did. He was holding her hands after they broke off her body. I was just like, what? <laughs> uh, so it was just so crazy. So that was A-Train. And then the invisible guy, his name's our invisible guy. I think he said it's like translucent and stuff. And he's like, that's only half invisible. That's transparent or whatever. I'm like, he, he's got a point. Uh, there was him. And there was, of course, that that prick, the biggest asshole of the episode, in my opinion, The Deep. Uh, there's very few times when I watch shows where I have such animosity towards a singular character. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait till they get what's coming to them. This is a guy. He... I. I keep language, I, well, I don't really keep language PG, but there are some words I've never said on my channel that I'd love to say a mouthful to describe that asshole, but I won't, but that's good. You you play up a real antagonist, a real piece of shit that you want to see fucking get it. So by the time at one point, I hope this, okay, I hope this guy, this gentleman, there we go, before I start losing it, guess what's coming to him, dude. That whole scene with him and Starlight, I I, 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 I'm not going to talk about it because we know what happened. She vomited in the toilet afterwards. But I was like, dude, this is... Ugh. And it was it was such a weird introduction. Because you have these people and stuff. And then she was auditioning. And you get the sense of like, oh, she's going to join the team. She's like this really nice young woman. And she I don't know if she's like a country... She gave me like a country type of girl vibe. I don't know why. But it was like very wholesome and... And then it just like, it flipped your world upside down with that shit with the deep. Cause when he was, when she was like, you know, I had like a little crush on you. I was like, in the back of my mind, I was pausing there in that, that whole segment. Cause I was thinking, oh, maybe their, their relationship in the league is going to get a bit flirtatious. That's why I was smiling. Cause I'm like, oh, I know how this sort of overcommon storyline is used. They're going to develop relationship for each or feelings for each other, go into a relationship, starting off with that first initial meeting and blah, blah, blah. I thought it was going to be that generic storyline. That's why I was like, oh, yeah, I know how this is going to go. Cause they're already starting to like kind of flirt a bit. And then he just pulled his pants down. I was like, 
Is this real? I'm not, it's just, it's, it's crazy. The shit that happens, you just don't see it coming because it's the level of decency that you was in, like expect out of people. And then they just completely, you're like, nope, screw that shit. This is my intention. This is what I want. I'm going for it. I'm like, it's crazy. But just watching it in the form of this show and that situation, it makes you so sort of uncomfortable and you just really, there's no feeling of security there. At least that's the feeling that I semi felt and I would expect that they're trying to give people. And yeah, it's, it's, it sucks. It's, I mean, it's like a, I wouldn't say it's a good storyline, but it's just really setting up a degree of realism and tackling that idea of let's throw out the nobility of what's supposedly supposed to be heroes. And even just throwing away the idea of them being heroes, they're still humans at the heart of it. So to have them really embrace that identity and no matter what they want, they'll they'll take it because who, who's going to stop them? It's just, it was essentially blackmail. He's like, oh, you attacked me and stuff. I'm just, oh, it was such an unsettling scene. And I uh, still, so, it's just, uh, I don't know why I'm talking about this damn segment for so long. It's just when I, when I watch that, even now thinking about it, like I, I'm like sweating because I'm getting like angry towards that whole thing. That whole scene just, it like it made me mad internally. Like I wanted to hit that guy so bad. It's just, ah, oh. we'll talk about something else. But I'm like, damn, to just to give you those feelings and elicit that emotion out of the audience because it's just such a jaw dropping scene. That's crazy. That's crazy from a story standpoint that they're able to really make the people watching like myself feel that sort of feelings in that moment. Oh man. Anyway, more on the group. It's a uh, Vought, I think is the company. So just that whole idea is crazy where it's a company. You, you think it's like the Justice League or the Avengers. They're all doing this, forming a group, but no, they're funded by what seems a private organization, but it's all not just about saving people. It's more so just like the show they put on the marketing, what can movies can we make, what advertisements, the amusement parks, costumes, and all these things. It's really about money. I'm like, damn, this is like big corporate type of shit where they're like, oh, nope, just in it for the profit. And I'm like, wow. It's so, it's, it's both unrealistic because of the fantastical elements and making it a bit alien where we're like, oh my God, superpowered beings and how this changes the philosophy of our world and its internal structure because things are different with individuals of greater like input into society because of their powers. But it's still the same principle of, hey, we have a shit ton of money. We can do whatever we want because there are certainly companies and organizations like that, even though it's all hush hush behind the scenes. Stuff like that is real. Like the scene where he's like, oh, the NDA, we want you to be silent. We'll give you some money, but shut your ass up. You can't talk about it. I'm like, dude. And I love that Huey was like, I ain't taking your deals and stuff. I, I, originally, he imagined kind of like Max Dillon tackling the guy and stuff, but he didn't do it. But in, even so, in the end, he still held on with a lot of integrity and resolve. And I really admire his character for that. And he ripped up the check. And I was like, damn, good for Huey, man. I like I like him a lot. Huey and Starlight are my two favorite characters so far. I also like Billy Billy Butcher. He's, he's awesome, man. Hitting him with the car and shit. Oh, he's so funny. I told you before watching this, I see him in like all these supporting roles. And he was Scourge in Thor Ragnarok. But for my remembering him... It's going to be from this. Like, this is my favorite role I've ever seen him in. And this is how I'm going to remember him as Billy Butcher, bro. I love him. But, man, whew. Even from a visual aspect, a lot of it looked really good. Like, the effects and stuff. If you don't know, I'm watching this on a 20-inch TV that only comes in, like, 720p. So, it's, like, very shitty. But, so, I, I can't really judge what the VFX look like, but even from watching it on my shitty ass com uh, computer monitor slash TV, it's, it's actually just a TV, but I plug my computer into it. It still looks really good. That's my whole point. Like it's very well funded, even just for the first episode, the first season. So I'm like, damn, I know there's season three coming out at some point this summer. So I'm like, this, 
this is going to evolve and look really nice, but it already does look really nice, like all the effects. And something I'm wondering about is the city, because they had a lot of ads, again, with that merchandise and marketing for the heroes, like, ooh, buy our products, look at them, they're so heroic, and it's all lies and shit. But there were certain buildings, especially the one for Avat, like where they work, it looked so good. I'm like, is that a real building? And they CGI'd the logo on top of it? Or was that whole thing not real? And they really made that. So I'm like, damn, their, their technicality from that aspect and the, what they poured into funding for this, the uh, budget for the show must be really good because a lot of it looked like real. I'm like, is that fake or is that real? Is that set piece real or is that all green screen and shit? So whatever they did, it just, either way, it looks really, really, really good. And I'm very impressed from that standpoint. And a lot of the scenes too, and that scene where he walked in and everyone is showing off their powers in a, a very d dirty way with like the Ant-Man. It was like, sort of like the meme with Thanos, but to a whole, to a whole different level. And then the guy with the uh, like elastic arms and shit, I was like, bro, what is this? And then people are floating in the air doing the, doing the thing. I'm like, damn. This, <laughs> there's certainly a lot more feelings I have for this show and if you're interested to know just ask me down just like my initial thoughts of the first episode if you're wondering about any aspect I will certainly tell you but there was a lot of plot for this just for me to paraphrase it would take so long but I'm just generally aware of what's going on but that whole scene where the uh, translucent guy the invisible dude was just he found the bug and then he confronted Huey in it and then Billy saved him, and then they fought, and he, I, he potentially killed him with the cable, and then they throw his ass in the trunk. I was like, damn, <laughs> this is crazy. And I had a feeling that uh, Billy was an FBI. It just didn't make sense. The guy at the door said, you're with the police, and then he's like, uh, same thing. He didn't say, oh, I have a hiccup, because I did. But even so, that was to lead into the club where they went. It just it felt so sort of back street that it wouldn't really fit within him being a federal agent so i'm just curious about him like what's his role in all this i feel like he might have like a tragic story behind it all because sometimes people who seem like the most careless and funny sometimes they can have like the worst stories to lead them to why they're so careless and they just no longer give a shit so maybe something along the lines of that because as he was saying like hundreds of people a year die as sort of casualties and these byproducts of the soups. I know it's weird because when I heard soups, I'm like, oh, it's like Superman, but they use the word soups like plural to describe other superpowered beings. Apparently there's 200 of them and plus in America. So I'm like, damn, that's, that's interesting. And just like another thing I'm wondering about that whole ordeal is how did they get their power? Like, what is their origin? Is it kind of like how we approach Marvel and DC where it's accidents create the beings or like scientific experimentation or is it like mutations like x-men i'm just wondering the origin of power same thing with starlight and it, it, it's just that still a whole that whole thing is crazy how you can literally apply to be a part of seven but then it's just your commitment to it has to be i wouldn't say that this is my favorite storyline or type of show I prefer a much more mature show, but it, it, it's ironic because they, how much more mature can you get? But I, I've talked about this. If you want to see it, I talked about this in my Batman video where I said you don't need rated R to be a mature movie. I'm talking more along the lines of gritty and dark, like a more serious thing. But even though this is showing a lot of blood and swearing and all those like sexual moments, it's not really mature in that sense. Sure, it has its moments, but for the most part, it's not. But even as this sort of outlier kind of, even as it's like just its own property, I really love the atmosphere and the story. Again, it's like not traditional to myself. I, I, I'm like admitting, and I truly, truly have never seen anything like this. There's nothing for me to rightly compare this to because it's just so different than what I've ever seen. Not just from a superhero standpoint, just like anything. I'm like, damn. There's a difference when you have sort of darker shows that are more serious and it's like organized crime and then there's a, like price to pay. Kind of like something like Breaking Bad. This is still different because again, it's just a level of them not giving a shit and abusing their power. That's like really what it is. So 
just a very interesting premise of the story all around and just seeing everything like budgeting acting like everything fueling it is really well done and i'm just i'm very excited for the next episode i did i'm gonna admit i am going to admit right now i did not think i would like this show before watching i'm gonna admit this I didn't even want to watch this show. I didn't even want to start a reaction series of this show because I was like, oh, it's not Marvel and it's not DC, so I'm going to boycott it. Me and my thoughts. You know, it wasn't really like that, but it was somewhat like that where I'm, I was just very hesitant because it's just not in a property that I'm used to. These, these heroes, this potential comic run or whatever. And yep. Yeah, it's such a pleasant surprise, and I'm absolutely in love with it. So you always got to give things a chance in life. So yeah, uh, again, guys, if you want to know anything that I'm thinking, you can ask me down in the comments, or just render your own opinions, because I'd love to see them, because this show is certainly something special and something very, very unique. So again, if you want to ask me anything, just please do so down in the comments. And yeah, uh... The next reaction, of course, is going to be on Sunday for Daredevil, but these episodes are dropping every Wednesday on my channel. The next episode, again, will be on Wednesday, so hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, until then, I will catch you folks in my next video.